Me, Ivo, I keep putting up posts about negative ego and the control the matrix has over people's minds but I think there's something missing that needs to be said to motivate light workers. It popped into my head this morning and I'd like you to speak about it please. Ivo, this is a subject you still have difficulty with because of your aversion to religion, however there is no need for religion when you understand that you are a part of the Creator. You have been given the creative abilities of the Creator, which is a combined masculine and feminine energy, so I will refer to it as they. There is a feminine counterpart who is less spoken of in your world. Do you think that the Creator head of this universe would be a lopsided principle? Only masculine with no feminine? It is no secret that upon your world the Divine Feminine has been oppressed. Yes, there is a Mother God. How could a masculine energy create all that it has without its feminine complement? Impossible. There is information about how, millions of years ago, the vegans split off from the Lyrans because of their differences. The Lyrans were highly feminized and the vegans because very masculinized energetically. Instead of seeing themselves as complements, they fought with each other and eventually split and formed two distinct cultures. The vegans ventured out into the galaxy to plunder and created wars wherever they went, whereas the Lyrans went forward to spread love. I am not saying that all men are plunderers and warlike, they are not, but you see that you must balance your own internal masculine and feminine energies to guide the masculine lower physical qualities with the spiritual feminine qualities. You are all masculine and feminine, you are a combination of these energies but your earth controllers have taught you to lean to the masculine side and then have unbalanced your collective's chakras to create toxicity. Shades of the vegan-inspired Orion cultures. Me, so the vegans sent me here to make up for their bad karma? LOL. Ivo, the vegans have learned, my dear, and you, being one of our wisest, have this learning to give to your earth as well. Me, once I finish rebalancing myself. Ivo, yes. But the rebalancing of self is part of your contribution to humanity on Earth's enlightenment. Me, which is why I keep encouraging people to do more to heal themselves and to help heal others. Ivo, yes, and our original conversation, before I took it off course. Me, to make a very good point. Ivo, was to tell you that when they say that God created you in his image, and yes, I am using only the masculine expression here although incorrect but that is a quote from your literature, that you do not look as much like God as you are capable of acting like God. You have the capabilities of unconditional love, benevolence, patience, kindness, charity, and many more virtues that lay dormant in some, and undeveloped in others, simply because you have overwritten the principles of your highly toxic masculinized cultures on top of them. That is why you see wars with no wisdom unloving acts of atrocity perpetrated on the innocent. Why you see soldiers go to battle to be slaughtered at a young age rather than going home to live a loving life with family and friends. I see you are tearing up my dear. Me, it gets me every time I think of these things. Ivo, but your people perpetrate these heinous acts upon yourselves without thinking. The heart is closed. If you think with your heart instead of what you have been taught, how different your world would be me, true. Ivo, so, the light workers are leading the way. But the light workers must firmly affirm to themselves that they are an expression of God and are given the ability to think as God does. No less than that. Me, I think, the Course in Miracles, lessons are getting to you, Ivo. LOL. Ivo, I am hoping it is getting to you my dear. What is it you must affirm today? Me, God is the light in which I see. Ivo, and what does that mean? Me, I can only see from God's perspective because I am God. Everything else I see is false. Ivo, yes. So all is God but these heinous acts are your creations. You can make what you like with the energy given to you. Me, so it sounds like you are making them justifiable. Ivo, no, they are not. Does God randomly perpetrate acts of violence upon you? Me. No, it's because we're not aware of universal laws. If we knew, then we'd use them to better our lives. As far as the weather goes, people dying in disasters, floods and things like that, 
It's the out-of-balance state of our psyches that influences the violence in the weather. God is probably sitting there going, geez, I wish they'd smarten up. So he sent the light worker. Ivo, God did. God sent the light worker because your planet needs to smarten up. And that is the goal of the light worker, to ascend, and they are not stoppable by the dark forces of evil. All you must do is step into your divinity and acknowledge that you are a representative of God here on this planet, sent here to help all others and to aid in this planet's ascension. There are so many here who are disempowered, and it is my mandate, as it was Jesus, who wrote the Course in Miracles, to wake up the light worker to their divinity. To find your power, you must be at peace. Yes, calm. Therein lies your power because reason is beyond you when you are upset and experiencing fear. That is why your captors keep you in states of fear, channeling it to you via mind control, producing it in television shows particularly the news. Yes. You are a representative of the divine source of this multiverse, here in this physicality to help those who are continuing to create the evil they live in. It is ignorance. Pure ignorance on their part and enlightenment is the answer. Me, yes, even a small example. I was anxious looking for a file on computer the other day. I couldn't find it. I took a deep breath and said, when you relax, you'll find it. Trying to look for something when you're upset about not finding it doesn't work. Sure enough as soon as I calmed down, I found the file back immediately. Being upset gets you nowhere and look how we spend our entire day every day, stressed out. I work far more efficiently when I'm calm. Ivo, can the dark stop a god? No. An empowered god is a beautiful being of power. When you work on your masculine and feminine natures, when you deal with your shadow, when you awaken to the truth on your planet, when you seek out solutions to the problems you experience as a multidimensional in a physical culture, you create new solutions for the world and lead the way to health, happiness and love for all. You create the change. You are the change. You are the strong ones sent by God to change this world. I cannot say it any more simply than that. But you must commit to changing yourself. Many sit watching television playing video games, spending the day upon your cell phones, working at jobs you detest, continuing to feed the system that enslaves you. You must live your lives more consciously. Ask yourself, what would Jesus do if he were here now? In this modern day and age what would Jesus be doing? Jesus would be creating change. Jesus would be taking the old negativity and changing it to the new positivity. Jesus would be creating a better future by embracing the now and improving on it. That is your job. Look around you. Where can you start improving your world? One easy way is to improve your own mind. Your negative thinking. Ignore it. It is not even you. It is part of the illusion. The only things real are your loving thoughts. You are a God who sacrificed much to come to Earth to do God's work, not the negative controllers of your planet speeding. Put your mind on the correct side of love. Yes, I know you need to earn money. But can you find a way to earn money in a business that supports the new paradigm instead of supporting the old paradigm? Can you work in a green technology rather than an oil-based technology? Sharon worked 12 years in an oil-based company. When she moved her next job was working at Waste Management, which is a company that offers green solutions to the world. That is the type of update I am speaking of. There is not perfect employment on your world yet. Your world is only starting to align with your higher values. But you can find something better. No perfect business that offers futuristic holistic health care, green technology or waste solutions of the future. They are not here yet but can you work at companies that are the seedlings of these future technologies? We hear people who complain they do not like their jobs but perhaps a job at a company that is a seedling for a futuristic clean technology would be more acceptable to you. That job may align more with your values and open your heart more, because now you would be assisting in developing a business that will clean your world and heal the sick without feeding them chemicals or invading their bodies and removing organs unnecessarily. Me, geez, Ivo, you make me almost want to go back to work. Just kidding. But I see your point, for the light worker, going deeper into the system is never the answer. Ivo, 
Train your eyes to the future. Envision where you should be applying your energy because old paradigm businesses will start falling. Stop giving them your energy. You are creators. If you want the job, create that job. What do you think your next step is? Where should you be applying yourself? Decide what you want to see for the future of this world, then live it. Create it by being the example. Look at David. He was ridiculed and laughed at for the truth he told the world three decades ago. Now see how many are filling up his lectures and reading his books. He created a means to tell others the truth and stuck to it regardless of how he was treated. Which is another point. You are going to be mistreated creating the new because people will feel you are a radical. Do it anyway. If you let what others say stop you, you are giving them your power. Sharon has been through a lifetime in preparation for this work, she was maligned by her narcissistic father, who created an inferiority complex within her, she has spent her life overcoming this complex and does not care what people think of her. She tells the truth because she realizes that it is energy, that your world needs this energy, and that people who malign her will one day thank her, not that she is waiting for this thanks. She is not. The truth must be told. And there have to be ones who are brave enough to do it. She has met many people who sought to subvert her from her life's path. These people only made her resolve to find herself and her purpose on earth, stronger. She would not be guided away from her life's purpose although it appeared to be a lonely path that put her at odds with convention. She would let no one stand in her way. And she still does not. She has overcome financial disability, emotional disability and many other distractions and setbacks that life sent her way in order to subvert her. She has had men in black at her bedroom window at 4 a.m. shining flashlights in the window, to which she just rolled her eyes and fell back asleep. Me, yeah, don't disturb my sleep. I don't care who you are. LOL. Ivo, they have tried to kill her, using those around her as pawns in their evil game to rid this world of her influence. Me. That didn't work. I'm hard to kill. Ivo, lol you have spent a lifetime with every kind of chaos thrown at you to take you off your path, but you have performed beautifully, coming into your own a bit late but still as dedicated to the light as you were before you were born. Me. I guess just reframing my life to see it the way you just described helped. I saw all men as distractions because I knew at 18 I would never get married. Either knew that or decided that, I'm not even sure? I knew I wouldn't have kids. I knew that wasn't my purpose either. I didn't let my mother's hatred of me for not giving her grandchildren stop me from my life's path because I knew no matter what I did she would hate me, that was just who she thought she was. I knew my life was my own and I was here for some reason which evaded me for a long time. I would get temporarily distracted until I set myself on my course again. I knew I loved spirituality mysticism and psychic phenomena. Most everything else I came across I felt wasn't for me. But then people always think their life's purpose, as I did for a long time, should relate to their paid employment. I never would have thought at the time that it didn't. I always tried to find a way to get paid doing what I loved because all the books told me I could. I never did. It was something ultimately I don't want payment for. Because I know money is a limiter. The solution for me, was to live off less money but to give up my consumerist lifestyle. The pile of shoes I have sitting there now are going to last me for ages especially since my prefence is barefoot anyway. Ivo, that is a good distraction, the consumerist lifestyle. Buying and then never having enough money. Thinking that you want more than you possibly can provide for yourself. That is a lack mentality. Now you are living with less money but have all you need. You look at your pile of shoes and your packed boxes and know you will be able to fill up your future house with all you have because you have plenty of stuff. Me, I had a life of many chaotic types of problems that I had to overcome. That came from my family of origin and was what my parents taught me. Every time I made a new friend, it was always someone who would bring this drama right back into my life. Ivo, Dark Agents. Me, I may have needed the lesson, I figure. Ivo, when you take them back in, you do need to learn more. When you refuse them entry, then you have learned what you need to respect yourself and love yourself above all else. 
When you do this, you have reclaimed part of your divinity. You must understand you are here to serve God, not others. Understand that. That is an important point. When you feel you are here to serve others, then you can fall prey to their whims, their manipulations and their chaos. When you understand that you are here to serve God in the way that God would have you do, in their loving way, but loving to yourself as well as you are one of God's children, then you have your shoes on the correct feet. If in doubt, meditate and seek the counsel of your higher self and guides, who are of the same divinity as you are. And remember that being loving can mean saying no to some. Me, yup. Ivo, anything that made you feel disempowered, you walked right by or learned from. You understand you are here as a warrior for the light and you were here to find your power. All of the light workers are. That is the proper use for those who seek to disempower you, learn from them. When the lesson is learned, love them from a distance. They serve no purpose for you any longer. Love all but do not fall prey to their disempowering ways. Me, thank you Ivo. Ivo, my dear, my sweet rosebud. I await you.